I realised in an instant we can make brain surgery safer. As a, a medical engineer, I have a background in brain surgery. We were developing these tools for other diseases and I realised we could give these tools to the brain surgeons. It's, it's like a tiny flashlight that allows the surgeon to see into the brain. One of the um, big issues in neurosurgery is um, doing delicate surgery on the brain to preserve brain tissue while we're getting to a tumour or getting to some object in the brain that's dangerous to the patient's survival. To have a tool uh, that can see blood vessels uh, as you proceed through the brain um, would open up new vistas of things that can be done with neurosurgery, things that we currently don't trust our own hands to do. The problem is, when you put a biopsy needle in someone's brain, if you hit a blood vessel, you can kill them. We've managed to make a tiny camera and fit it inside a brain biopsy needle. It's the size of a human hair and allows the surgeons to see blood vessels before they get damaged. And what's really exciting is the computer smarts behind that, so the computer can recognise the blood vessel and help the surgeon see. We've taken this all the way from an idea and into neurosurgery. This is the first time in the world this has been taken into humans. What's exciting, I think, is to um, be part of a bigger revolution in neurosurgery that can lead to more precise surgery. So to be able to have uh, instruments uh, that you can operate with that, that enable you to look ahead um, and to update your plan is really important. This research has a lot of economic potential. The medical device industry is worth $220 billion annually. We can build some of that here in Australia. We're really proud of this research. We can now provide it to the neurosurgeons to trial. And in the future, bring it to other surgery to make surgery safer.